I'm an artist. So here is my example of a set of mittens that I designed and created. So I'm going to show you how to make your own mittens and then you're going to have the option of cutting them out after you have them all colored. So what you need today is a blank piece of paper and crowns or markers, something to color with, okay? And what we're going to do is I'm just going to flip mine over and I am right-handed. So that means that I write better with my right hand. If you're left-handed, go ahead and put your crown or your marker in your left hand. So what I'm going to do is I've got my, if you look up in this screen, make it a little bigger. So I have my hand with no crown and my other hand with my crown in it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my hand on my paper and I'm going to trace this hand. Okay. And then after I do that, I'll show you the next steps. Okay. So I'm going to push my sleeves up, pull my watch up, and I'm going to set my hand towards the left side of my paper. Okay, I'm not putting it in the middle. I'm not spreading my fingers out. I'm setting it over here towards the edge. Okay, my hand's pretty big. It takes up almost half the paper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start down at my wrist, which is right here. I'm going to draw a line. But instead of going around each finger, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a curve, almost like a U. Alright, I'm going to stop where it meets my thumb. I'm going to go up, and around, and down. Okay, notice it's not real close to my thumb. And then when I move my hand, that's what I have. Now what I have to do is connect those two sides. Okay? Now, it doesn't have to be straight. It can curve a little bit like mine did, and that's fine. Okay, so if you haven't done that, go ahead and do it. Place your hand down flat with your fingers together. Start down at your wrist. Draw a line like a U or an N to get to your thumb. Go up and around, down, right here at the bottom of your hand where you stop. And move your hand and draw your line. Now, remember, while we're creating this, you can always pause the video if I'm going too fast, okay? Or if I'm going too slow, you can always skip ahead, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip my paper over, okay? And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to place my left hand down because I'm right-handed when I draw. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to start down here at the bottom. I'm going to curve around like an upside-down U all the way to where it meets my thumb, go up, around, and stop. And then I'm going to curve to that point. Perfect. Now what I get to do is I get to decide what my mittens look like. I could color them in all one color. I could make patterns like I did here. I use blues and reds and oranges. I use shapes like my circles and my snowflakes, my triangles. I used lines. Okay, so figure out how you want your mittens to look and then work on coloring them. I'm going to color on mine for just a minute and then I'm going to go ahead and show you the next steps. So after I've colored for a few minutes, when I start the next step, you go ahead and pause the video until you finish coloring, okay? Now I am doing a little spot at the bottom where they almost look like Santa's mittens where they've got fur around them. But I'm going to color mine in a magenta color. And I'm going to do that on both mittens. Okay, so what you need to decide, like I said, is what colors, shapes, and patterns are you going to use? Okay, because I want your mitten all decorated. You could do stripes. You could do zigzags. Okay, I'm going to show you just some different examples of what you could do. You could do curved lines like this. You could do zigzags. You could do curly cues. All right. You could do shapes like triangles, circles, 
squares. You could do snowflakes. So do an X, a line through the middle, and a line through the middle. Okay, you could do polka dots. You could draw little snowmen. Okay, you could draw animals. So that's what I want you to do. Go ahead and pause the video and design your mittens. Okay. Now, if you're back here, I'm assuming that you have designed your mittens, that they're colored in beautifully, and you're ready to cut them out. Okay, so we're going to go over a few rules first before you cut them out. Now, you do need an adult with you just to make sure that you're using your scissors properly and that you don't get hurt. So these are the only scissors I have. Yours will probably look a little bit different. But we remember that our thumb goes in the top hole. So our thumb goes in the top. And normally our three fingers or at least two fingers go in the bottom. Okay, like this. We remember that we only cut what with our scissors? Our paper, right? We do not cut our clothes. We don't cut ourselves. We do not cut our hair or our sister's or brother's hair. Okay, we only cut our paper. Okay, and we're very, very careful because we don't want to cut ourselves. Okay, so go ahead, cut very carefully around the edges of your mittens. Okay? And that is all we are going to do today. And then what you can do when you get it finished is you could always uh, get some string and tie your mittens together. Okay? So I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I hope I will see you guys soon. So remember, decorate your mittens beautifully and then cut them out very, very carefully. Okay? All right. Bye, ladies and gentlemen.